What's good y'all? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can already tell, this is a different type of video. I'd like to you guys to meet my son, y'all. I want you guys to get used to him. I want him to be on the gaming channel a bunch because he's mine. He's mine and this is mine. So I want y'all to see him. I want y'all to see him grow. And today, today we're doing a different kind of video. We're not doing rebuild. We're not doing quiz. We're not doing anything that so we are taking the worst of players of every team, making them the best of the players of the team and see what happens. Today is just an experimental video to see what would happen if the worst really became the best for just the day or I guess the season see if they'll win a chip or a different team will chip who will win an MVP who will win finals MVP I'm just curious of all those questions but other than that buddy let's get straight into it and switching over to 2k mode hey I told you guys this time is different so we have all the teams selected so I could run through show you guys what the teams are looking like with these improvements or maybe not improvements but hey today's video is really gonna be a name guessing challenge because I don't know any of these NBA players because they're like G league players honestly so i don't know their names my bad if i get them wrong don't hate on me but it's just gonna be a bunch of fun guessing names ray john tucker that one's not hard as you guys can see it's an actual player so that one's not that hard so ray john tucker is going to be an improvement with simmons and Embiid. let's see how that does switching over to the bucks you guys said Giannis didn't need any help now he got mamadi diakiti I don't know how to say y'all again my bad 6'9 center from Virginia undrafted he's looking pretty nice had a 96 overall now looking over at the Bulls they got over Adam Mokaka Mokaka he's obviously a real player too he looks actually really familiar but I can't put a name on his face but we're just gonna get over to the next one. There's a bunch of teams, but I wanna get through to every single one of them because I wanna see what OP teams out there are out here for them. Now we got Martin, Jeremiah Martin coming with Sexton and Kevin Love, see if that makes any noise. And now to this Boston Celtics. The Celtics honestly, oh wait, I was gonna say, Celtics honestly made no changes, but it's obviously right there, the first guy. I thought that was Kemba Walker for a sec, but Trent Mon, Waters moves Kemba to the bench. I don't know when Kemba's officially going to get traded to the OKC on this game, but hopefully it happens soon. Buddy, did you sleep? Buddy might have knocked out, y'all. I'm glad he knocked out, honestly. He wasn't looking too comfortable, and now he looks comfortable. I want to get him used to being on my shoulder, y'all. So if you guys see him not enjoy it once in a while, like, I'm going to take him off, but at the end of the day, I want to get him used to this, because when he gets bigger, imagine. Imagine he gets big and he's just chilling on my shoulder. He's probably going to scratch the hell out of me. It's all good. Looking at the Clippers right now, we got Pat Bev. And why did I say Pat Bev? Like I'm rebuild, build, rebuilding them. Jay Scrub. That's all this video is about. Jay Scrub, Kawhi, and wow, Paul George got moved over to the bench. Should we make any changes here for them? No, I don't want to make any changes for too many teams. If the team really needs to make a change, then we'll make it. But here, actually, this one does. Kawhi could play the four. What am I saying? Paul George to three. Now the team's a lot better. Like that's literally all I had to do for them. And now checking out the Grizzlies with Ja getting Porter. Jonte, Jonte Porter, Jonte, Jonte Porter. Why did I say it's so weird? Uh, that team's looking a lot better now, but still not good enough to compete against the other ones honestly the, hey just a little quick preview brad there's an op team out here take a guess comment below what team do you think the op team is like just guess real quick brad like it's it can't be that hard but the hawks yo i don't know if this is okay buddy are you okay i told y'all he might try to fly buddy you can't fly yet you can't fly yet it's okay Hey, I'll pet you. I know you want to be petted. But he misses his mom and his sisters. I'm sorry, buddy. Your mom and your sisters, they left you. They literally left you. I had to adopt you, so welcome to the family. I need to, like, baby him. Yeah, I literally have to baby him, put him in warm spots. Like, because I researched that ducks, like, the mama ducks usually sit on their babies. So now I have to provide the warmth and be, like, the, like the parent figure. But looking at the Hawks now, I have to make a change. I have to make a change. I have to change Goodwin to the sh uh, to the shooting guard and Young at the point. But come on now. Young cannot get off the bench. And now I have to play with one hand. See what you make me do, buddy? That's all good. I love you. You're not comfy? Are you not comfy, buddy? There you are. He loves my hoodie. I need to wear a hoodie. I'll switch into a hoodie after this video because he just crawls up into my hoodie and loves the hoodies. But now checking over at the Heat. They get Udanum. Ha! Ud ha! Udonis Haslam back, bruh. 
I was saying, a lot of these players I do not know. I definitely know him, and he has never been a 99 overall in his life, ever. So I'm super interested in what changes this makes. I feel like the Heat about to be an underdog with him, low-key. I don't know why, but now checking over at the Hornets, I have to do everything with one hand now. LaMelo Ball with Darling. Who's Darling? Who is that? Nate Darling, no idea who you are. You with LaMelo now. Let's see if y'all make any noise. Checking over at the Jazz. Hey, the Jazz might have needed this one improvement to make them the championship winning team. So may they make my, they may make some noise. And Gerald Brandley, Brandley, I think that's how you say it, with Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert. That's a pretty nice team now. That is a piece that they definitely needed, and now they got him in it. And checking out the Kings now with Fox, and they get over King, Luis King. Congrats. Hey, that look, that's, your team looks a lot better now, Kings. That's honestly the best your team's looked in a little minute, like, honestly. And now checking over at the Knicks, they get Jared Harper, 5'10", point guard, Shark Kings, stand up. Um, eh, honestly, that might have been one of the worst ones because who was your, uh, yeah, D-Rose coming off the bench. You guys lost your backup, I mean, your starting point. The rest of your lineup's looking whatever, and these other teams are looking a lot better. Now the Lakers, this is the team I'm super interested about because Giannis' brother is OP now. He is the same overall as Giannis. I'm excited to see if he makes any noise. Now the Lakers bench depth for backup center minutes is just insane, more than it was before. But I'm super interested to see what Giannis, I mean not Giannis, uh, Kostas can do without with that Giannis and see maybe they can meet up in the finals. Hey, I really hope they meet up in the finals. That would be super interesting, actually. And now checking over at the Magic, they got over, this is one of the names, y'all. Ignaz Brazdekis. Ignaz Brazdekis. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but 99 overall with Jonathan Isaac and Wendell Carter Jr. Hopefully he makes some noise. I'm actually really curious to see who the best, like, out of, like, what did I do? Who the best out of these generated people, the new people, are going to be the best one. Like, super interesting. What if they win some award? Let's see. Luka Doncic gets some help in Nate Hinton. Nate Hinton, 6'3", shooting guard with Porzingis. That's a lot better team, in my opinion. Doncic needed some help. Porzingis was not being there for him in the playoffs, so maybe Hinton will hop in there and be that person. Y'all knew who I was talking about, y'all. Y'all knew who I was talking about. If you did not know who I was talking about, stop the cat. Mike James, 95 overall. James Harden, Joe Harris, Durant, DeAndre Jordan as usual. And they pushed Kyrie to the bench, y'all. I honestly don't know how I feel about this, but I'm not going to help them. They don't need any help. Like, their starting lineup could be a lot better, but I'm not going to be the one to help them. I'm sorry. You're too OP. Hopefully, you guys don't win a championship, but I really don't want to see you guys win a championship. Like, you guys are just way too OP. And now, switching over to the Nuggets, they get Marquise Howard to help over with Jokic, and Murray gets pushed over to the shooting guard. I'm super glad he got pushed over shooting guard and not on the bench because now I really like this lineup. And they got uh, Aaron Gordon coming off the bench. This is a really pretty team. Um, they might be a, they might be a silently killers, bro. They might silently do some movement, bro. Checking over at the Pacers now, and someone just got switched out. I'm going to take out McConnell and put back Brogdon in the starting lineup because that has nothing to do with our guy. Our guy over here is Adama Brima. Adama Brima, center, 6'10", out of Connecticut. Hopefully they make some noise. Be careful, buddy. Hey, you want to be held, huh? Oh. Hey, guys, look how tall. Look how much he's already growing. I'm going to do this once a, once a day, every video. I'm gonna do that, and I want to see you. I want I want you guys to see your his growth with me. Okay, now I have to play with my knee and my hand. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. All right, now checking over at the Pelicans, they get over Didi Luzada. No idea who you are. You're looking pretty solid. Six five point guard from uh, Brazil. Their team's looking a lot prettier now. I actually really like that team now. Checking over at the Pistons, they got another guy that I do not know that's the the name of. Hey y'all, this one hand is really difficult, especially the left hand holding the duck with my right hand. It's all good though. De Devadas Sir Servidas. I'm not sure if that is how you say it, but I hope that is how you say it. Hopefully you make some improvements to the team, but honestly, I don't think too much noise will be made over there. Raptors get over Harris. Which Harris? Jalen Harris. They definitely needed a shooting guard. Now they not definitely need a shooting guard. They had Fred Van Lee, but they needed somebody to be a bucket scorer, so they finally got him. Fred Van Lee will be amazing off the bench, no doubt about it. 
and that team's looking a lot prettier. They just need a center now. Hopefully, I wish I could rebuild somebody, bro. Hey, next time I do these experiment videos, do you want me to? Do you want to see me take over the worst team after the experiment video is complete? Let me know, cause that'd be super interesting. And checking out the Rockets now, they get Anthony Lamb to be their shooting, I mean, small forward. That makes their team a lot better. Honestly, they're missing a small forward, I believe so. Yeah, they're definitely missing a small forward and Tate being their small forward. So now they got one. Uh, now checking over to the Spurs. Oh, be careful, buddy. Weatherspoon. What's your first name? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. You want to go back on my shoulder, huh? You want to go back on my shoulder, huh? Yeah, he wanted to go back on my shoulder. The neck warm. It's the neck warm, y'all. He loves eating my hair, too. Ah! Stop, buddy! I have to make a video! Alright, we're checking out Weatherspoon now. His name is Quinnadary Weatherspoon. Over to the uh, Spurs, making them a lot better of a team, honestly. But oh, I was going to say DeRozan got switched over to the bench, but he's right there at the small forward position. I just can't see him. I have hair in my eye. Your boy needs a haircut. Comment below. Get a haircut, bro. Like, it's been over two months. Like, I don't know what is going on out here. And now the Suns, y'all. Alexander comes and takes D Book's place himself. The man that got the Suns to the finals. Tyshun Alexander. You just replaced the guy that got this team to the finals. Booker coming off the bench is about to be lethal. I don't want to make any changes over there because why not? Why not have him come off the bench? Hey, he's just going to chill right here. So you guys are going to see my neck hunched because he's, he's comfortable. I don't want to mess with him. Every time he gets comfortable, I don't like messing with him because... It's cute. It's cute when he gets comfortable. And now checking over at the Thunder, they get Josh Hall over to the team to be with Shea now. And not much to say about that team, honestly. And now looking over at the Timberwolves, Jordan McLoggin helping out Cat. Hopefully they can make some noise. How old was McLoggin? 5'11", 24 years old. Hopefully they can make some noise. Honestly, another quiet team. Trailblazers, Trailblazers, I had to take a quick pause because McCollum, I was like, where did McCollum go? He's on the bench now, but Dame got help in Kelgen Blevins right now in a 98 overall from Montana State, and that lineup looks a lot prettier now. McCollum coming off the bench, I do not mind. He's trying to eat my hair, y'all. If you guys are curious what he's trying to do, he's trying to eat my hair. He likes he likes getting up in my hair and just messing with it. He likes curly hair. And checking out the Warriors now. The Warriors are nice. The Warriors are nice. Just kidding. They didn't make any changes. Just kidding. They did. <laughs> I don't know why I was tripping out for a second. I was like, they didn't make any changes. Um, I'm just going to ignore it. That was my fault. I messed up. But that did encourage just so good that the, uh, the generated per not the generated person, but the lowest overall guy, and Nico Mannion might be the sixth man of the year of this challenge. Hey, buddy. Hey, what are you doing? He might be the sixth man of this video because, hey, we haven't had any guy be a sixth man so far. So he is going to be the first one. And now checking over at the Wizards. I believe they're the final one. And Ca Cassius Winston. I have no idea how to say your name. I'm sorry. You pushed over Westbrook to the bench. Westbrook might win the sixth man. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be a, 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 a new guy that got boosted up that's going to win sixth man? Or is it going to be Westbrook? My fight's on both of those. Let's see who it's going to be. But I believe that is all the teams. Yeah, I believe that was all the teams. We checked out all the teams now. Now it's time to get into the sim. Right now I'm just going to be rocking with the 76ers. But as you guys know, the team doesn't matter on this one. We don't care who wins. It's just an experimental video to see what player will really blossom as much. So we're going to simulate the season. We'll see you guys like at the tra de trade deadline. I'm not going to make any trades, but I want to hop in, see what the players are doing, see what the award races are, and just keep you guys updated. So we'll see you guys at the end, y'all. All right, y'all. This is exactly where I messed up on the last one. I have to start all over again. I accidentally returned the players to the G League, and most of those players were two-way players. I don't know why that keeps happening with the light. Um, I'm going to stop it, and I'm just going to make sure he's still here. Okay, he's still here. Are the rest of them here? See, is he here? Are they here? Or is this game just like messing with me at this point? Like, I can't tell. Cause then when I go here, he's there, 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 there. Okay, we're good. We're good, y'all. Last time I did this, I mean, last time I did the sim, I accidentally returned every. There's obviously nothing we can do to the other teams because we didn't select them. I'm gonna simulate a few more games and then. 
Okay, wait, wait, I was gonna be like, what happened? I'm gonna simulate a few more games and then hop back into it. <sighs> what happened? Who? Oh, you guys are talking about another guy. You guys are talking about somebody else from my lineup. I didn't even know that. I'm gonna continue simulating. Return player to the G League. I don't need him. I'm gonna simulate a few more games and then I'm gonna hop into the other team, see if they made changes for them. And I hate the sim speed right now. It's blowing my brain. So I'm gonna see you guys in a few games, y'all. Get this win right here. Even though I'm not rooting for you, get that win. Gonna check over if the players are still here. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there. Everybody's still there. Okay. All my work did not go for nothing. All my players are still there. Let's simulate. So let me. I'm gonna simulate like. 15 more games and I'm going to stop so I can show you guys the stats. Actually, we've been doing too much messing around. I'm just going to see you guys at the end of the season. Let's see if our new guys won any awards and see how our players did. Hey, you're eating my head, bro. He was knocked out for a bit. I accidentally woke him up right now, so he's back to just munching on my neck. Oh, buddy, the season's over. I need to look up now. Bro, the homie has not let me look up in the longest of time. LeBron winning MVP. Jonte Porter, new person, rookie of the year. A, 99 overall as a rookie? Of course you're gonna win rookie of the year getting 17, uh, nine, almost 10 and nine, almost a triple double as your rookie season. Those are amazing numbers. Trey Young, six man of the year. I don't even know why I was talking about Westbrook. I guess they took uh, Trey Young, put him back on the bench. Hey, stop, stop. Trey Young getting 24 points and eight, seven and a half assists off the bench. Amazing numbers. And Giannis winning defense of the year. Shea, Shea won most improved, winning, getting 31 points per game. Shea has this much potential in this game. Do you guys want to see a Shea video? How the heck? He went from 19 to 31 per game, y'all, with the 90-something on his team. Shout out to you. Coach of the year goes to Stan winning 65 and 17. We really don't care about all that. Here are the first teams. Wow, no new people in the first teams. Wi-Fi network disconnected. What happened to our Wi-Fi? That's the first time I've ever seen that. Something definitely happened to the Wi-Fi. I'm going to have to check it out later. But no new people on first team. Wow, Shay just went crazy this year. How? Like, how? But shout out to you. Okay, Shay. There it is. Our first person, Ignaz winning, uh, getting second team. Also, Porter getting second team. There's our first two people getting first teams. Porter's the rookie. Yo, he won rookie of the year, second team. Hey, he's a walking bucket already. He's going to be dangerous if he gets really good in this league. Be careful, buddy. And there is, of course, no, oh wait, I was going to say, of course, no third team, but there's right th there is one right here. How much did he average? 18 and 11. It's all the big guys, bro. Wait, 18 and 11 as a, as 11 as a small forward, hey, he might be a problem in the league, y'all. He definitely might be a problem in any defensive teams, no first team. Wow, no second team. There's a bunch of third teams, though. There's four out of five. Thir uh, oh, wow, those are the rookies. Never mind. I thought that was a defensive third team thing. There was one. I don't know why I thought there was. Um, but rookie of the team, only LaMelo wins it. And everyone else is basically generated because, as y'all saw, there's a lot of new guys in the league. And now looking around the the league let's see what people were doing season stats we don't really care about the certain teams we want to see the overall Doncic 33 points come on where's gonna be the first impressive person these are all impressive numbers actually Booker going crazy off the bench didn't he play off the bench yo didn't he just play off the bench how did he not win rookie of the year that makes no sense all right where are the new guys where are the new guys you guys didn't put up buckets no, there's no way you guys are wearing bucket scores, bro. The highest overall, I mean, highest points per game was just around 22 points per game, 10 assists, and 5 rebounds a game. Wow, did nobody, none of the new guys were high scorers, like, at all. It's all of the old guys. They were highest rebounders. I saw a lot of new guys that were high in rebounding. I'm not going to lie. I definitely saw a lot. Come on now. Don't play with me. No. Oh, these are defensive rebounds. I'm like, what? There it is. Devon Diaz. I'm not even going to try it, bro. I have no idea what it is. 11.5 rebounds per game. Anybody else? Rajon Tucker getting 10.8 rebounds per game. I knew there would be more rebounders up here than scorers. There it is. There's there's a few people that average at least 10 rebounds. Uda Udonis has them. How did you do? 13, 10, and 5? Eh. 
Eh. It's your career high. I mean, your career high was 12 in Miami and up until now, so it's your career high, but I was, I was honestly hoping more for you. Any high in assists, anybody new? Of course, LeBron. Who's the highest one out here? Didi. Didi's the highest one. Pelicans, not too surprised, honestly. Steals per game. Oh, Mike James. Okay. Hey, that's scary, bro. The Nets really got all of that and this new Mike James guy. Any defensive players that were necessarily good? No. Any turnover guys? Of course. Good win. There's going to be some guys in here that are just not great. And any three-point shooters that are just amazing. That's the last thing I wanted to check out. And the answer to that question will be Jonte Porter getting, wow, 6'11", and he's a sniper. Like a sniper. Okay. <laughs> Checking out the standings now. What team outperformed? Brooklyn Nets did the best. And Pelicans. 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 Yo, first seed. Let's go. Let's go, Pelicans. Young ball stand up. Memphis Grizz. Hey, the young heads are standing up. Who did the worst? I just want to see the bottom two. Cleveland Cavaliers, not too surprised. Pacers, not too surprised. Bottom two here. That is why he got 31 points per game. That is why he got 31 points per game. Worse in the house and Houston Rockets sitting at the last seed. Not too surprised in those two numbers, but this I'm really surprised about. This I am very impressed about. Very impressed. Because honestly, I thought it was about to be this. Oh. No, they sent him back to the... Don't tell me they sent him back to the G League. I was the most excited about Costas. No, he's right here. They just took him out the lineup. How are you guys going to take him out the lineup, y'all? That's so messed up. They took him out the lineup. And I can't even get in there and put him back in the lineup for them. Wow. I'm so sorry, Lakers. The most improved, like the person that I wanted to see just do crazy was not there. But we are ready to get into the playoffs. Let's just simulate the first round. See what happens. We're going to go round by round. Why does it look like I don't, this? This simulation just looks a lot different to me because I'm taking over a bunch of teams this time and not just one team. So like I'm taking care of a lot of teams. Ah, stop! I was going too fast. Pelicans got out of there, took out Dallas. Portland got out. Lakers got out. Memphis got out. Wow, there was no upsets. No upsets on that side. No upsets on this side. It's a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Wow, okay. So we're not gonna talk about that round at all, but are you good? Don't fall off. <laughs> Pelicans get out, Lakers get out, Brooklyn gets out, 76ers get out. Memphis was second seed. I mean, there was the upset, but that's not an upset. I knew the Lakers were gonna win. And hey, the, the, the semifinals are looking exactly how I thought they were gonna look, so that's kind of amazing. And come on, come on, Lakers and Brooklyn. Lakers and Brooklyn. No, come on. Pelicans and Brooklyn. What am I saying? Pelicans. Come on. That's the first time Brooklyn got knocked out. That's the first time and only time I'll go against the Lakers. But I want Pelicans to come out of there because that's the team I was standing up for. Now it's the Pelicans and the 76ers, which we were controlling, get, got into the finals, y'all. This is the matchup we're looking at in the finals. Ah, the 76ers look good, bro. The 76ers look good. But as you guys know, the Pelicans were the Hoopers this year. 1-1. I'm going to slow it down. Every two game, Pelicans, 2-1. Come on, close it out, Pelicans. 3-1, close it out. Ah, no, do not let him come back. There it is, y'all. Congratulations, Pelicans. Congratulations. Ah, I was going to say congratulations to the new guy, but of course, Zion wins finals MVP, averaging 31, seven rebounds and two and a half assists. I'll, I'll do, give him the benefit of the doubt, say three assists. There it is, Zion wins finals MVP with all those improvements. So what does this mean? Is Zion the next up, up and coming go? Is he not? I have no idea. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed that and the first episode of Buddy being on the show with us, make sure to smash the like button. I want to have Buddy on the gaming channel more. I want, to, I want you guys to see him grow as much as I want to see him grow myself. But other than that, y'all, smash the like button and have a good day, y'all. Adios. Say bye, buddy. Quack, quack.